there you are. Um, we are going to be making meatloaf today. Um, but first, I want to talk to you about uh, the bike. I've had it for a few weeks now. There's some some things that I've taken note of. Um, first, this uh, headlight that came with it, it snapped off after a couple days. Um, wasn't a very good light anyway, so no real loss there. But I did have to take off the front fender. I'm not sure if I was just doing it incorrectly or what. But the, the fender kept falling off and rubbing along the tire. And uh, that didn't really do me any good. But... Um, this is the replacement light that I got, just a cheap $20 light that, it serves its purpose. It's still a little better than the other one, but there are better ones out there. Um, this rack, I don't think I ever talked to you about the rack, uh, was incredibly hard to get on. Um, like the, the, they didn't quite match up there. Um. The back rack went on a little easier, but it was still really difficult to get on. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a decent bike. I don't think, I think I should have put in a little bit more research into some of the other bikes out there, but um, it serves its purpose. I also wish I kind of would have gotten like a, um, a step through bike. Because every time I have something on the back rack, I end up kicking it trying to get on. But it's a, uh, it's pretty decent. The oh, the um, the motor likes to not go sometimes. I'll have to turn it off and turn it back on. That's happened a handful of times. I'm not sure what's really going on with that, but it's not bad for for what uh, I paid for it. And I got got my GoPro on there gonna be adding in a clip I'll probably put it in now of uh, me falling well riding in the snow oh and I took the Christmas tree down but I went to go put it in some boxes and uh, they weren't big enough so I got to get a bigger one But now it is time to make the meatloaf. And I got this Star Wars apron. May the forks be with you. And so to start, I got two packs of impossible meat in there. And two eggs. Quarter cup of milk. Panko. A one. I take that back, actually it's steak sauce. Is there a difference? A1's a brand of steak sauce, but steak sauce is just steak sauce. I don't know, it's giant brand steak sauce. Leave a comment down below on your takes versus steak sauce versus A1. And some Worcestershire sauce. That, the word that nobody can pronounce, is in there. And then I also put in some garlic, onion powder, and parsley. I did add some more panko to it because it was still very loose. I needed something to absorb all the, all the liquid there. But now I'm going to put it in a pan. This looks absolutely disgusting. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks when it comes out, when it's done cooking. And that's going to cook for about an hour um i am going to try and make a mushroom gravy to go with it chopped up some mushrooms waiting for my butter to melt i 
can fry them up. If my meatloaf is done, I poured the mushroom gravy over top of it. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it does taste good. We will find out. There is the inside. I'd say that came out pretty good. And time to try it. That is pretty good actually. I wish I would have wrote down the measurements I made for everything. The meatloaf is good. The gravy is good. I'm very happy with how this turned out. So the meatloaf was really good. I do like the gravy. I wanna. I do need to work more so on the gravy than I do the meatloaf. Both need a little bit of tweaking. Um, meatloaf more so just because I need to write down the measurements and stuff or what I used I just guessed at all of it but um yeah I'm gonna be making making that again um that's gonna be the end of the video if you liked it like and like and subscribe um I will see you in the next one